it's not so hard to do. Well, it's not so hard to do. Well, it's not so hard to do. Well, it's not so hard to do. I wanna go home 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 The first thing I'll do is just came to me is I'm going to stack up all these books on the middle of the floor. Hey. What are we doing? Man, I really want to show that. Here. The bed cam. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. If you're just joining us now, we're book stacking. Stacking the books. Let's see what we have here. This is their base. This is microeconomics. Might as well go spine like that. Or maybe we should alternate so we can go around. I mean, structurally it would be good to alternate. That's a that's a real book. Maybe I should go. I should go the same way, because otherwise it's going to look like a bunch of papers. This is great. I can tell you're excited. This is uh, tricks and stunts with playing cards. Yeah. This was a bestseller. Ah, oh, this is nowhere near as tall as I hope. I was hoping this would be like a challenge, but it's not. Oh look, I screwed it up. Oh, there's more. Yeah. That is the stack of books. Books are stacked right here on the middle of the floor. Jeez, now what? <laughs> Makes me want to stack everything. I wanted to put this on top of it. There you go. That really makes it sparkle, doesn't it? Oh no, we were going to go to a uh, <laughs> commercial break. <laughs> what? Uh, let's take the chair. Put it like this. Can you sit in it like that? No. That's what I'm thinking. 
here like that. That's a good idea. See, that's a smart idea. This is the smartest idea I think I've had in a long time. This, this is what it is. There you go. It's an upside down keyboard right there. On a stand. Upside down. We're getting smarter, are we? Again, keyboard upside down. Thank you. This is the thing, and it works like this.
whatever. No. Die. Yes. Hibernate. What the fuck? I write stupid music, and a lot of people like my music. Damn, they must be stupid. Hi, it's 1995. Really strange, confusing, unbelievable, weird, funny things come in pairs. I'm sad 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 Ready to eat dirt. Get ready to eat dirt. It tastes good and it cures AIDS and it makes people feel great. There's no harm in saying what you mean There's no harm in saying what you want There's no harm in saying what you choose Cause you've got to be who you are This is my door Sheep Just let me sleep on a pile of clothes Boxes taste like mush Boxes taste like mush Boxes taste like mush Boxes taste like mush I'm a I can make the seasons change. I can make the seasons change. I can make the seasons change, and I bet I will next May. 
Barf on me. Barf on me. Barf on me. Spew thrill up. I didn't warn you that my doctor said to write the creepiest song I can. I better warn you first so next time I can go all out. I'm gonna warn you fools to brace yourself so I can write my creepy song. I'm gonna go totally crazy and it'll be insane. I'm on my floor. Hi, bye. Convince myself to feel okay. I tried to figure out how to do it yesterday, but I got nowhere. I tried to kiss a girl, but I got scared. I tried to read some books, but I didn't see them. Couldn't read them. I didn't. I'm so insecure, I can't do anything, I can't do anything, think I'll just shut up. Bread. Gross insides. <laughs> Sing me a song
good to your neighbor. Don't be good to your neighbor. Just kill him. It's time to make the thing for Thursday. I want it to be a really good thing. I want it to be a really crazy thing. Can't think of anything. Come on. Pants. Got free video ideas. Yeah. Okay. Beans. Yeah, whatever. This is the road. Uh, maybe I'll get out of here. Bread. Tape. I'm on my floor. Done. Okay, so we have Hang Me. We have Burning Water 2. I'm burning up beans on my floor. Sometimes I stand in my room. Sometimes I stand in my room. Sometimes I... Whatever. Sometimes I whatever. I can't think of anything. Sometimes I whatever. Seventeen is the number for me. Seventeen is the number for me. Seventeen is the number for me, cause I got to believe. Roadrunners. 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 Talking about rolling thunder. Put down your dancing shoes, and I'm going to tell you what to do. Supple blue little world We'll get on all the shoes And we'll dance the night away Cause you mean more than anything Dance the night away <laughs>
skip to my loo, skip to my loo, skip to my loo, cause it's got poison in it. Drink Eek! I got a tape deck, I got a tape deck, let it rattle around. I got a tape deck in my basement playing that classical hip hop music. I got clothing, I got skateboards, and I'm trying to find my way back home because I'm tired and sad and got no soul. Why is it so hard to see it? I'm so alone and I can't get free. I can't breathe. Guys, yeah, so if you think I'm doing a video today, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing a fucking video today. Sorry. I'm not doing a fucking video today. One, two, three, four. Fuck you. I'm going to New Canaan, Pennsylvania. I'm going to New Canaan for a late night snack. And by late night, I mean middle of the afternoon. And I'm never coming back. Let me stop in Harlem to explain what I mean. I'm actually going to Connecticut. To New Canaan, Pennsylvania to have a good time I'm riding on a good old-fashioned train I hope that good old-fashioned train don't get derailed I'm hungry and starving for food and women But I ain't gonna turn back yet 
winter and the sky is so blue And I am so blue for you Feels just like summer and my nose is blue Cause I lie about details when my dreams don't come true And I always feel for you Every word I say is true To the countryside Going on a trip to see What I can find Looks like a 12 figure income town But I love the shade Of those license plates I'm gonna go to Starbucks And play my ukulele Under the bright blue sky I'm going My dreams are sailing away I'm going crazy and I'm feeling blue Cause I know where I'm going but not what to do And I always dream of you Every word I say is true Up some kind of weird dumb shit. It's true. It stays true for you. Thursday jingly thing, yay! myself in the knee bone my knees will be sore for the rest of time Ow.
Guess I'll stare at the wall. Thank you. 
Electricity makes things turn on Icy gems, icy gems Can you believe I just said Icy gems, icy gems, icy gems What does that mean? I don't know what that means don't know what I mean Guess I'm a jelly string bean Came out of the kitchen Itching to be And I just wanna say silly things And occasionally pick up the phone when it rings in a calendar. Go back to where you belong. We are humans, we are humans, and we've come to take you away.
Let's get high. Up. This tree is green. So green. All you gotta do is say something outrageous. All you gotta do is say something crazy. All you gotta do is feel. Say something that doesn't have to be smart. All you gotta do is say something cool. All you got to do is try to say something cool. Don't make me write you a melody. Don't make me write you a melody. Don't make me write you a melody. really sucks write a tune that really sucks I said write a tune that really sucks and then duck let's watch some television I got the rhythm, I got the blues, I've got no reason to answer. 
closer to you I got no reason to go home I got no reason to go home I've got no reason to go home alone When I know that it's not that fun I can play all day I can play all day I can play till the cows come home I know they won't You can forget all of that dumb stupid information Summertime and I'm high enough And I came to fly once more And I came to try once more I can play all day I can play all day I can play these games every day And I came to know what this really Dollars, I got the blues. I got no reason to share them with you. And it's winter time, and I'm sad enough. And it's summertime, and I've had my luck. Gonna spend it all on.
It's hard to know what you want to do today. Because all the people who could tell you died yesterday. Even if you try to understand, you can't because there's no one in the world who understands. Open up your eyes and see the past gone so fast. Everybody needs a second chance. Each day you can make somebody new feel great And you can change Each day I remember where I'm trying to go And it just ain't anywhere that I can go But now I know Now I know This record has verses. This record has verses. This record has verses. And I'm so proud. I've got a way to say things that makes everything make more sense now. And I think I'm gonna tell it to the whole wide world. When freedom comes knocking, it's gonna take you by surprise. When freedom takes hold of you, there ain't no turning. Said you got to be blind, got to be blind to no avail. Said you got to be, said you got to be blind to no avail. Hey Jody Foster, is that your new Chevrolet? I see that it's got a lot of miles on it. Hey Junior Mervin, you've got no space to behave. Is that your new green hat on the side of the stage? You can drive my car You're gonna go so far You can do anything You can do anything Hey Mr. Gibson Is that your new feature film? Is that your new long short film About how you need a new girlfriend? It's too easy to fall in love to fall in love You're not gonna know when it's too soon You're not gonna know when it's past due You're not gonna know And you're not gonna choose To go it alone Hey Redskin Jenkins I hear you've been trying to steal first base Cobb 
Cobweb Michaels Get out of the way so I can get through Get out of the way so I can get through I said get out of the way so I can get through Oh, nothing. I was just shaving my piano. So I was just sitting here thinking, can I put apples in a video? Yes. Oh, hi. I'm a paperclip. Oh, was that too loud? Take a video of the ceiling Oops, I had the camera pointed the wrong way Gonna throw my wallet away And my phone And my keys And my shoes And the instrument that I play Knock, knock. Who's there? The news. And now the crappiest video in the world.
Black, white, black, white. Bill Clinton. I'm stuck in a rut. Lima beans, lima beans, lima beans, lima beans, slimy beans. I have the heebie dee dee Don't look in a boot, I just put my boot in a shoe. Hey baby, buy my car. in my trousers again Rock and roll confusion Rock and roll confusion Rock and roll confusion Let's have fun and confusion
Actually, two benches. Thanks. Music is cool. Music is cool. Music is really freaking cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And so I think I'm gonna do some of it. Lizards are great. I have a car, but it's bad. Stuff is true. I should go back to space. subtraction.
Why? Cause it's so tasty You're free to do whatever you want to You're free to do whatever you need to You're free to do whatever you want to You're free to do whatever you need to I just moved into a church And I want to express myself to the world I'm too shy to do it I'm afraid to speak my mind I want to shout, I want to shout, I want to scream to the sky And get everyone high 
Cause I just found out the meaning of life I still hesitate yeah. I wanna go back in time Back to the year everyone was born And show them how to understand The possibilities that they own Show you where faith comes from Show you how to make things good But I just can't get over my fear Man, I wish I could You're free to do whatever you want to You're free to do whatever you need to You're free to do whatever you got to All night long And it's Wednesday And it's Thursday And I can't seem to find my way to do whatever you want to. Is it legal to make laws? Gonna sing a really dumb song and then post it online Do you ever get tired of yourself? Cardboard, is that funny? I'm different. I'm different. No, I'm the same. I'm the same. Just ran out of videos. What am I gonna do? Still got no videos, what am I gonna do? Guess I'll have to start being serious
have questions, then ask them. Got to know just what I'm doing right. Just wish I could make some music. Do you do all your own music? Yes. Do you do all your own music? Yes. Where do you get your music? I make it myself. Who does your music? George Clooney. Just kidding, I do it. Donald Rumsfeld. I'm gonna figure out what everything means. Quick question. Are you the real? Write songs, so we'll just make a silly thing. Space toast. Are you gonna sing every day? No. Maybe. Cable television. Hello, I'm a piece of garbage. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. It's 2015 and I got to go crazy. Q&A, what's the history of the world? Once upon a time we were lost in space. We still are. Happy birthday to a moose. Out there doing stuff like Feels great to be doing stuff Time to rearrange my world Music school Lesson one, notes. What's a note? This. Time is it? Time to be a generous and really nice person. What's two plus two? A billion. A B C D F G H I J K. Just wanna make longer videos, ones that last a really, really long time. Just wanna make stronger videos. Online, on Vine. Lesson two, how to play the wrong notes. A question I get asked a lot is, do you like music? Yeah, but seriously though, do you like music? Yes, I like music. Like world peace or whatever. I wrote a letter to myself and now I'm opening it. I just opened the letter I wrote to myself and it says I'm a stupid idiot. How to play a C major scale. Gonna chase myself through hell You know, sometimes I think to myself What are you waiting for, you dumb stupid fuck? Flunk the world
What's the universe made of? Dreams, bro. Cloudy, 53 degrees. It's 12 Celsius with 64% humidity. South, southwest winds are blowing 10 miles per hour. And the pressure's on the rise from 2977. Overall, temperatures were about 8 degrees below normal today. That front is easing offshore, and it will be followed by a gradual clearing trend. That's because we have high pressure in the Mississippi Valley right now. We're going to bank on that to ridge eastward and clear out our weather. Thank you so much. Gonna write bad, bad songs till I ruin someone's day. Gonna do the thing, finally do the thing. This is the way we open up lots of possibilities. Fell in love on the Q train. Fell in love on the Q train. Find I was always frightened of classical music, and I never wanted to listen to it. The taxi driver the other day had some sheet music of a Mozart thing, and I said, "What's that?" You know, and he said, "Oh, <laughs> I said, oh, that's the eyeglass stuff. You won't like that." He said, "No, no, you won't like that." And I said, "Well, what is it?" You know, he said, "Oh, no, you won't like it. You know, it's eyeglass that." And uh, that kind of way, I always used to think of it. I used to think, "Well, you know, that is that's very clever, all that stuff." And it isn't, you know, it's just exactly what's going on in pop at the moment. Pop music is the classical music of now. I'm a person. How do you find love? Look under chairs, I guess. No, seriously, how do you find love? Outside. Goats. Goats. How to be cool Pay taxes Gonna buy a car and then change it It's uh, pretty tall Guess I'll have to go down south They're dark and bad I'm from the west coast to eat french toast and I'm cool Dear plant, how's your life? Well I'm addicted to sunshine Get ready for no
How to fly a plane. Use the steering wheel to turn left or right. What if Spain was in Greece? I don't understand anything. Step one is to pretend that you're happy. Step two is to buy great products. And live in Kachusko Street. There's not much to eat. Got to go downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. Advantages to living in the future. Now you can comb your hair by satellite. Music makes me feel so interesting. That's too many turkeys. Pick a card. It's the two of space. Okay. You can keep it. That's magic. I'm a loser. Yep. Still a loser. In love. Just want to do something reasonable. Got to make things real I know of a cool place to go Left. Try going left. Physics lesson. Don't fall down Movies are nice, movies are cool And I watch them all day till I puke Where do babies come from? Grown -ups. Where do grown ups come from? Babies. Where do babies come from? Grown -ups. Where do grown ups come from? Babies. Now you know. When's Christmas? A little bit later. When's Thanksgiving? Now. I've been thinking a long time. How to remember your name. You can use descriptive words in a poem about your best qualities. Conversations with a pizza pie. Hi. Homework help. Just try to have a good time. And don't die. Jingle bells, I'm a cop. Gotta write something down Hope you have a good day Hope you have a good day Hope you have a good day Hope you have a good day, a good day. Chips Chips Got to hide from strangers Throw away the garbage pail, get a brand new garbage pail Yeah, this is good Fucking cool sports Cool sports Having a bad day And destroying the entire world It's okay to have feelings How about go to the mall? How about go to the mall? 
got a home by the bay Then I sold it To my cat, I think I think I just made some bread In my head It tastes really good And it's real special I hate myself I hate myself. I hate myself. Oh, I hate myself. Do re mi, I'm incomplete. I'm gonna clean my room after the sun burns out. Think about doing some content I just want to pause for a minute and analyze this content As you can see from the position of the car I feel like a bad person What is love? Fruit, no. Bread, no. Fruit and bread, probably not. Is it a conversation? Is it a fruitful sales deal? Yes. No. Actually, no. Is it a hearty breakfast? Mm, my favorite brand. Is it a four-letter word that you can use in various ways that are mostly positive? Hell yeah. Oh, McDonald had a farm. And it exploded. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S N T U V baby W X Y Z. I said W X Y Z. It go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm alive and I'm all right. It's just fine and I'm going to make things right. A B C D E F G H I J K M N O P Q R S N T U V baby W X Y Z. Sing W X Y Z. Hi, I'm Steve. I drive a car. It's in a tree. Just kidding. My name's not Steve. I'm filing for an extension on my taxes because I didn't pay them and I'm not going to. Cause that's the way I like to live my life. And I feel like everything's gonna be fine. I'm skipping work again. That's because I don't have a job. The mailman was late today and she was actually a woman. And she said, That's the way I like to live my life. And I know that everything's gonna be just fine. I first saw the mountains, but they've always been here. Now that I see them, I'm wondering why they're there. But they're here. I can't climb them. But I can. Cause that's the- Hey, here's the mail. Dear Steve, that's not my name, but whatever. Dear Steve, how did you climb this mountain? Well, I'm glad you asked that. It's part of a two-step program. Find the mountain, climb the thing. That's the way we can get things done, and that's how I do it. It's easy and simple, cause you know what to do. Bye, I'm Steve. Soap tips, things you can do with soap or ways to use soap. Buy soap, get it from the store or just rent it. Take it home, wash your house. Invite some friends over, talk about soap. They're not interested in soap, that's too bad. Move to Canada, you can wash Canada. Nope, it's already clean. I wonder if soap comes from the natural process of evolution or if it was a gift from God. Knock knock, it's the soap gods. Quick survey about the soap. How are you liking the soap so far? It's okay. That's good. We're gonna make more of it, except you'll like it more because it'll taste better and be more addictive. Let's go to Africa and find love in the jungle. Found it. I 
also found some soap. Part 2, Advanced Techniques. Teleport some soap. Teleport yourself and leave the soap where it is. Try this one. You can walk a hundred miles and the soap will be there when you get there because you sent it through the postal system. Oh no, it's a natural disaster. I wonder what would happen if you took soap and combined it with soap and merged their properties and characteristics. It's something to think about. Anyway, I hope you like my video. Okay, so welcome to my unboxing subscribe video. Hi, it's another unboxing video. Like and subscribe, thanks. Here we go. Damn it, it's another box. I wonder what's... Oh, it's a pair of cool sunglasses. Yeah, baby, got cool sunglasses. I think I'm gonna like these sunglasses because it improves self-esteem, higher ability, interpersonal relations. Next box, already unboxed. There's something inside, what is it? Dust. That's a great product, I have that one at home. Are there any more boxes? Yes, there's one more. It says fragile, do not open. Hmm, I wonder if... Well, thanks so much for doing the unboxing with us. If you find something in a box, just wait patiently and think carefully. And you just might figure out what the darn thing is. The darn things. How to win at spelling. Spell bad, spell good, spell fresh. Bribe the judges. Take a plane to space and do your spelling out there where there's more room to think and breathe. Purchase a spelling kit, then rip out the pieces and rearrange them to your liking. That's how much fun spelling can be. Won't you spell the world with me? Yes, I think you can see the significance of this. It's gone. The ball is gone. Where did it go? It's rolling down the lonely road. Wondering if there's any place to go. The castle. Go to the castle. Go into the castle. Let all my troubles flow away. Gonna get hassled. Hey, you can't go in this castle. I already did. You can't. I already did. You cannot go into this castle. Where is the castle? Here. Am I already in it? No. Yes. Go to jail. I'm in jail now. Ha! That was a fake jail. Made out of cardboard. I'm back. Don't bounce me off the wall again. That was mostly violent. Violence. Don't do it. Are we friends? Yes. Hmm, that's a very good picture. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna take the friendship picture. Okay. Thanks for coming with me. I always buy terrible pictures. Unless you're here, then I buy the good ones. Oh, that's sweet. You know, one of the great things about that picture gallery place is they have air conditioning, but you can never actually feel the air blowing. I felt it. No, you didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. I just wanted to see if you were actually invested in the conversation. <laughs> Let's go out to dinner. Is that what we had planned? Yes, but I planned it again, just to make sure. This place is really good. It's one of the top-rated places. Ooh. Should we go in the lobster section? I can't handle that right now. Okay, let's just sit on the roof. So how's your family? I have two families. How's the better one? Pretty good. I have zero families. How's that one? It's okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you think I would look good with huge muscles? Hey, are you guys friends? Maybe. Okay. Let me know if you want to go in the lobster section. I just had some tables open up. Yeah, okay, thanks. How much was that picture I bought earlier? You mean the price? Yeah. I think about 12 million. Really? I think that's what it said. Hmm. Because you figure it's got two people in it. Oh, right. Six million for each person. That's what I'm thinking. Do you even have that much money? I'll probably dig a hole somewhere and find it there. True. Okay, so we have corn. Ah, that's fantastic. Thanks. And I'll be back. I'll bring you a bunch of forks. Okay. Thanks. Just think about how many restaurants we could have gone to. Yeah. How many do you think we could have gone to? Just one. This is the only one that still serves food. Right, okay. I understand that. But think of this. 
how many restaurants are actually a different restaurant? Like, let's say you're driving along, low do da do right. minding your own business, and you're about to get to the restaurant, and then you're there, and bam, it's a different restaurant. Yep. Forever it's been. I understand. Like, it changed, but like, it already had changed. Right, right. A long time ago. Yeah, I get it. Like a bait and switch. Uh -huh. How often do you think that happens? I think it happens constantly. You think? Best thing about the restaurant biz, just the fluidity. Ah, oh, there's the forks. It's a 29 pack. How many would you like? I'll take all 29. How many would you like? Just one. I'll maybe use the back of it. That's fair. Hey folks, time for dessert? No, no way. way. Okay, thanks for keeping me informed. The world's not ending tomorrow, right? No. Nice. What do you think we should do? We could buy another painting. That sounds lovely, except I don't like paintings. Oh, really? What don't you like about them? They're not real. Ah, that's true. Maybe we should go to the beach. Ah! Hey, Gina. Just kidding. There's nobody named Gina. I'll fix myself a snack. I've seen this before. I can do this. Sure. Oh, look, here's an opportunity to forget my past. That's better. You know, I'm finally starting to feel more comfortable. Let's see if I can... Well, anyway, I'm going to lunch. It's moments like this... Leave these up here. It's moments like this, folks. You go to lunch. What's going on here? Avoidance wars. Each driver is trying to avoid eye contact with the other person. Do they know each other? Nope. Do they want to know each other? No way. Do you think we should introduce them? I think that's a great idea. But I think everyone is scared of what might happen. I got tired out. Probably had a big day yesterday and the day before and the day before. Have you ever had a big day? My whole life is big. I'm here street cleaning. Which makes me immediately want to ask, was the street dirty? No, I don't think so, and I can never seem to remember. I try to remind myself to take note of whether or not the street's dirty before the street cleaning car comes around and cleans it. But I always forget, and then the car comes, and I'll never know. Sounds like you need a way to predict the past. Yeah, find out how to predict when the current moment is going to be the past, and then check up on certain details because you know you won't be able to access them anymore. Is one of these cars yours? Yep, I just bought all of them. How'd you do that? They, uh, there was an auction. Online. I didn't have to go, I just sat here and now I own all these cars. Except for those two. Those are self-owning cars. Okay, well can we drive some of these other ones? Uh, nope, those are all self-driving. Okay, well then, can one of them drive us somewhere? Sure where? I mean, sure where? I don't know, to the moon and back? Mm, I think that might be out of range for some of these cars. Well, how about down the street? Sure, if you can figure out which way that is. Do the cars know? The cars? These cars know everything, which unfortunately cancels out, and so they know nothing. They know nothing? Feel nothing. They know everything. So they don't care. I see. So it means don't ask for their opinion. Right, so where do you want to go? Well, let's think about what our options are. You know, I just realized we could actually go anywhere, and now I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. I know what you mean. Is there anywhere you've been before? Yes, I've been somewhere before. Well, can we go there? I don't remember where it was. Oh. Was it here? Yes. Oh. Are we there Welcome. yet? Welcome. Yes, we're here. I'm excited about that. Where do you think all those people are going? Away. No, it's, uh... Half of them. Yeah. No, it's... All, all of them, them are going, going away half, half the, the time. time. And the other half of the time, they're... Coming back? No. They came back first, then went away. Right. From where? I think it might be a loop. No, it couldn't be. This road has no curvature whatsoever. Yes, but they could be making a series of angular turns. That's right. Good point. Everyone around here seems pretty driven. That's just a sign of the times. Five minutes ago, no one was going anywhere. I remember. Now all that's changed. Except we're still here. I just noticed that. How is that possible? It must be because of this sturdy commercial signage fixture upon which we are perched. 
Sit on a sign, feeling fine. That's my motto. My motto is different than that. I understand that. Shall we amount to something? Well, how do you propose we do that? We could go up. I don't know how to do that. That's the one thing I've never learned how to do. I can do everything else besides that. Can you go to the side? I'm pretty sure I can, but just not up. Right, yep, no. These places, this has got to be fictional. No, it's real. Is there any way to test that? Try to make up something better. Honestly, I would have spelled this with more R's. Here. Nah, I see what you mean. Everything is perfect. How to pull a rabbit out of a hat. Get a hat. Rabbit jumps out. Push it back in. The rabbit jumps out. Push it back in. Rabbit jumps out. This is going pretty good. Did you know? A good percentage of rabbits are in hats. No, I didn't know that. Step nine, put the rabbit back in the hat. Fact, a hat is a very good rabbit habitat. Thanks for that. Hello? Hi, it's the rabbit. It feels good to get out of that hat. Okay, bye. Hey, phone, how do I pull myself out of a, a barren wasteland? Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here and you could walk to it and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island and now there's lots of trees because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world and they have technology from the future, like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important, ruled by a heavenly super person, or emperor for short. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about Sunrise Land, said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government here. They let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again, and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Then the emperor overthrows the shogunate. Then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants, that's fine. Now there's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the Shogun has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The Shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power. And it's anybody's game. Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Like clocks. And guns. And Jesus. So that's cool. But everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital? Which right now is puppets with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. 
Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital. And it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him, and then someone else who works for him kills them, and that guy finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords, and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right, it's not going to be this kid, it's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get confused, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close the country. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit, but they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, and Dutch studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Knock knock. It's the United States. With huge boats. With guns. Gunboats. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. There was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, How about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia, just for a moment, and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War I. The world is about to have a war, because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy, and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan. So you know what that means. Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway, so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Now the war is over, and congratulations Japan, you technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world. The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria, and the League of Nations is like, No, don't do that, if you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, How about I do, anyway? And Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China, and was planning to invade the entire East. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache, and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends, because they had so much in common. It's time for World War II. Germany is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, Holy shit. And the United States started helping Britain because they are good friends. And started not helping Japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than any other bomb. Ever. Just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. They actually drop two.
The United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into even crazier space dust. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess, which is now. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. There's not in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs. And fish. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water. In the egg. Works for me. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge. Including bugs. Wanna see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart, don't worry about it, it does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. It's mammal time, here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff. And walk. No, like, walk like that. And grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food.
This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet, dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated, maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock, er, clop clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah look, it must be the Greeks. Er, a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China! New arrivals in India! Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about, or their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully, the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. Or you can get their own water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Then it break again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got big said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of India. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra, the first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or, actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. 
The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for moors. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Wanna get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor. Said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. All the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of... The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean, and discovers more ocean, and then discovers the Indies, and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? 
in Brazil, stolen in the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world, more specifically Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire's gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman-anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they rape Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Finish him. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them could be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Sight, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay.
Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots with bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we?